So I'm seeing, oh no! <laughs> Pickles! Hey everyone, I'm Seppi, and today we're gonna see who's got the best Shake Shack order. Shake Shack is a proper dinner to me. It's not a drunk food, it's not after a night out the way that other burger places are. Like, this is a legit meal, it's an event. We always get it on a takeout, it's our go-to order. Love burgers, love meat, love you Shake Shack. I love burgers, but I love burgers made my way. So I, I like that there's some customization in Shake Shack. So you're gonna go Shake Shack, shake it up, mix it up, all of that, because it's amazing. My Shake Shack order is a Shackmeister, because I love the sauce, but with a double patty, I gotta have my lettuce, onions, pickles, ketchup in the burger, and I have ketchup on the side for my cheesy fries, and I love their caramel milkshake. If you like plain, you're not gonna like it, but if you like a good burger, then you're gonna love my order. Big! <laughs> in caps! <laughs> Thick! Huge! Damn! I'm seeing raw onions in this bad boy. I'm seeing raw onions, and you know... I'm just... Love the onions, add a bit of crunch and texture. We'd love to see that. We've got the world's biggest onion and the world's smallest milkshake. <laughs> They've gone for a double patty, which is heavy, it's stodgy. You made a bit of a rookie error there. You need just one because there's no balance there. It's otherwise, it's gonna be just too much meat. I mean, it's a great burger. This person, they know what they're doing. They definitely know what they're doing. This needs to be simplified in my head. Like, it needs to be trimmed back. It's just a burger. Don't overdo it. Don't have too many toppings. I personally find, like, raw onions and pickles to be very overwhelming flavors. I've been told this person likes to dip their burger in the ketchup, which I'm like, smart. This person knows what they're doing with burger orders. They know ketchup on the burger equals soggy. Um, so I like that they use it as a dip. And as an American, I love dips. Even though ketchup is not really a dip, it's more of a sauce, but that's fine. I have to say, the ketchup technique, one extra point in my brain, because that's good. Great way of doing it. That's a bit of a game changer for me. The ketchup with the cheesiness in the fries. Fire. The cheese and the ketchup is like a match made in heaven. Ah. Last but not least, the shake. Caramel. I don't taste caramel anywhere in this. It's nice. Not as good as my shake, I have to admit. It doesn't work. It's too sweet. Out of 10, I would give this a 7.5. I would give this order a seven. I give this order a seven out of 10. So my order is the chicken shack burger. So we're gonna have the sliced cheese in there, the cherry peppers and the sliced onion, cause I just love that kind of extra oomph to the burger that it adds. And obviously the cheesy fries. If you're going plain fries, don't talk to me. I've got the extra herb mayo on the side cause it's just super potent and garlicky, which I love. And then obviously you've got to get the cookies and cream shake because that is what it's all about. No other shake will be that, never. This is the chicken burger. Oh wow. I've never had the chicken burger from there. I do love a chicken burger though. Oh, don't tell me this is an Oreo milkshake. Same old different day. This person is obviously after my own heart because I love a dip. So I see we've got some beautiful fried chicken, cheese, and my cherry peppers. Good job. Extra mayo with chicken burger always goes down well because they never give you enough mayo, you know? They're stingy with the mayo, they're like <laughs> Well you need to be that's what you need, not <laughs> Oh, she thick. Ah! The flavors are spot on. It's a little bit dry, if I'm honest with you. I don't know why. But for some reason, this amount of flavors feels like it would work with a beef burger. But this just doesn't feel like it's working with the chicken burger. I knew that because their beef patty meat is quite good, I knew their chicken meat would be good. So I'm not disappointed with their chicken meat. I'm actually rather pleased. Let's see if including this dip with the fries can save this person's order. Mm. So it's like a garlicky mayo or a garlicky herby thing. You know what, I learned something here today. With the garlic aioli, with the chicken, you know, maybe sometimes you don't just stick to the norm and be a sheep and follow everyone else and get beef. Maybe sometimes you get chicken. To me, this order's not it. 
So, because this one had a bit more complex flavors, I would say I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. I feel bad, but I think this order is getting a 4 out of 10. I give this order an 8. So my order is a single burger, no pickles, add the Shake Shack sauce. On the side, cheese fries with extra sauce as well. That is a must. Um, I also get six piece chicken nuggets on the side. I love chicken nuggets, so if there's nuggets on the menu, I'm getting them. And for a shake, it's the half vanilla, half chocolate, half and half shake. That's a lot. Wow, what is this? I'm seeing good things here. Oh, like nuggets. A chicken nugget. <laughs> This is making me a happy man. I'm seeing a bit of cheese, the Shake Shack sauce. Look, if I shake it, I'm shaking the Shack sauce. Oh. <laughs> mm. The initial bite is good because you get like the nice beef patty with the sauce, but then the bacon comes and goes bang! Here's all the salt that you need, your daily allowance. Some of their like Shake Shack sauce in there, which is good. I think it needs a bit more. One thing that's great about it is that it's the perfect size. Like it's sizable, I can bite into it easily, which is great. Only thing missing is a bit of acidity. Get some pickles in there. I need that acidity to cut through that bit of fat. Pickle! I didn't know Shake Shack did like little chicken bits. Oh, I don't know, they're not uniform. You know, they, some just went in the kitchen and just chopped up the chicken bits and just chucked them in there. I think I've fallen in love. Like, this is love at first bite, truly. You know what? Hold on. I may have something here. The nugget in the Shake Shack sauce. Now, now we're talking. I'm a genius. And let's just have a little cheeky sip of the, the milkshake. Obviously, you've got to try this. Why does this have like a super like childhood nostalgic kind of taste to it? Flavors wise, it's not, it's, it's quite plain, but I think if you like chocolate milkshake, but you don't want it too chocolatey, then this is a safe bet, but not for me. Well, I, mm, well cheesy fries, yeah, heck yeah. Beautiful. I'm going to give this order a 6.5. I'm going to give this order an 8.5. I give this order a 7.5. So my order is the Shack Burger with the added pickles for that bit of acidity just to cut through that fatty beef. I also get the fries. With my fries, you know I can't have them plain. I have to have that beautiful melted cheese drizzled on top. My mouth is actually watering just talking about my own order. Finally, you know I have to finish it off with a bit of that sweetness. I get a vanilla cookies and cream shake. As a chef, I know that my order's gonna win. Simple. Oh, this looks so good. This burger is thick. It is so thick. We got some bacon in the burger. Is that peppers, chilies? So I'm seeing, oh no! <laughs> Pickles! I think some onions missing from this and a bit of ketchup on the side or even in the burger. I'm hoping that the million other toppings on this hide the pickle flavor, but sorry, pickles are not my jam. Ah, will this fit in my mouth? Ooh, we'll see. It was a juicy bite. Like I bit and it was just like. Oh, oh, it's quite salty. The pickle is very strong. And then you got the peppers as well. And then no sauce to kind of like mix up the flavors. The bacon is quite salty. And I don't, I don't think you need that with, especially the acidity of the, the pickles. It's like two super strong flavors kind of clashing. I think there's genuinely enough other flavors in here that the pickles haven't overwhelmed my taste buds too much. Normally I can taste the pickle through anything, but I haven't so far, which is great. Like, listen, cheesy fries. I know I'm gonna like this. Mmm. Oh, wow. Perfection. Has the shake and the shack. And that's what we want. It looks great. Like, it looks like it's going to be exciting. What is it? To me, it's missing dips and it has pickles. So I'm going to give it an eight, but that is a really strong, this is a strong order. I would give this order a six out of 10. I would rate this order an eight out of 10. Oh, I am. 0% surprised that my order won. It has the best of everything. It has a bit of the whole menu wrapped in. And um, I'm glad that I was able to open everyone's minds into what the best possible order could be. No, that's not right. I mean, I'm a bit shocked. Always trust the American when it comes to burgers, what can I say?